What's going on beautiful people? It's Hayes Carlson coming at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And guys, I got something cool for you today. Today we're going to be talking about this Passport by Keystone. Now this is a 219 BH. That means it is 21 feet long and it is indeed a bunkhouse. And as you'll see over here, we are solar power ready. We also got power stabilization jacks and it's an extended season camper. How cool is that? Now guys over here, we're gonna have our outdoor kitchen. Peep the magnet. Oh, love that so much. Mini fridge. And then we're gonna have our little griddle over here so we can get some outdoor cooking going on. Can't get enough of that. We can do it underneath our awning, which is just great. We can also use these three prong outlets that are GFCI to hook up an outdoor TV to watch the game and do some tailgating if we want to. They give us this nice ladder here. And since this is a bunkhouse model, we do have this door here in the back. And that goes right inside the coach, guys. Now, right here underneath, we're gonna have all of your fuses as well as our breakers. And then this bunkhouse does fold up just like so. That way we can have easy access inside and outside through the rear of the coach. Keystone's nice enough to give you a spare tire. How cool is that? Then we're going to have a couple of windows, our 30 amp service. A way for us to get to the refrigerator without taking it all the way out. Ventilation for our cooking inside. We poles for our windows so we don't have any moisture inside and all that water can go somewhere. And then guys, we're gonna have full pass through storage with another magnet door. Love that so much. Check that out. We can go all the way back in there. Now guys, we're going to have your fresh water connection, city water connection, outdoor shower, our key TV satellite hookups. Now guys, what key TV means is that it is not going to have any splitters anywhere. So that's going to give you the best signal possible. And then we're going to have our extend and retract for our electronic stabilization jacks that are right there. We got four of them all the way around. And guys, this is a slam door, so we can slam it. It's meant to do so. Guys, we're gonna have a power tongue jack. That way you're not having to crank up all the time. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Two 20 pound propane tanks. And then we get to go inside. Check this out. Now guys, once we go in, whoo! First thing you're gonna notice is that we do have this jackknife couch here. Now we are gonna have some good storage underneath. These are all full extension steel ball bearing drawers so we can get all the way into the back of these guys with no problems. And then guys, with our couch here, only thing we need to do is pull this bad boy up and then bang, it folds down for a place for us to sleep, take a quick nap if we wanted to. We are going to have drawers on either side of this guy. And then this does indeed have a Murphy bed. Check this out. So this is your master bed right here. Now guys, this is gonna be meant for a couple. Maybe if you have a kid or two, this is gonna not have any slides. It's gonna be nice and lightweight for you. But we are going to have plenty of storage on either side. Our uh, nice accordion style shades. If my cold fingers can grab it, there we go. These guys come out giving us some nice shade on the inside and we are going to have a fire exit here on this one. Now guys, check out this kitchen. Full solid surface countertop. Now guys, this cover here is uh, quality enough for a cutting board. We are going to have a stainless steel sink that's gonna be antimicrobial. It's also gonna be easy to clean. And then you're gonna have your gooseneck sink with our chef's nozzle here. Good, good stuff. And then uh, a nice window over here, plugins that are GFCI. So if a drop of water touches them, they're gonna turn off. And then guys, plenty of storage up here up top. Residential style microwave. And then you're gonna notice we have a vent over here for our stove. Now with our stove, this is a three burner high output stove. So these two in the back are gonna be regular. This guy up here in the front is going to be high output. So whenever we're in high altitudes, this is gonna have a more rich air to fuel mixture, making sure that you're gonna be able to cook no matter what altitude that you're in. And then guys, with these right here, whenever we have power, these do light up, look really nice. And then here's the inside of our oven. 
But guys, check out the storage here. This is crazy. All kinds of storage. And then over here, we do have the dinette already folded out into a nice bed. And I'm going to run over a couple of things that Keystone gives us here. This is going to have four... G, LTE, and Wi-Fi prep. All the wires inside are all color-coded. This is gonna have TV, key TV with no splitters anywhere around. And then our tough lock AC ducts. This is also gonna have your true fit slide construction. Now guys, this guy does not have a slide, but on all of the other Keystone products, it does have that slide construction there too. We do have a residential queen size bed and I really wanna talk to you guys about the floor in this. So this is called a hyper deck floor. Now what that is is a composite flooring material that is gonna be foam and completely waterproof. So the way that that works is that if you have any water that's spilt on the floor, of course we wanna do our best to clean it up, right? In the event that we're not able to get every single last drop, what's gonna happen then is that water is gonna go down through that foam, through the underbelly, down to a drain plug, and pour right onto the ground. That way we don't have to even worry about it. So the floor is a huge part of these uh, Keystone Passports, guys. It, it's really amazing the kind of technology that these guys have came up with. And then as we go along, you'll notice that we have our wall-mounted TV. And then we're going to have some more storage up top. We're also going to have some more storage underneath our seats here with our dinette. Once again, full extension ball bearing drawers, nice and smooth. With our refrigerator, this is a gas and electric refrigerator and freezer. And guys, check out how big that is. You can fit like a week's worth of food in there. Moving right along, we're gonna have our bunks. So guys, these are gonna be able to hold 300 pounds a piece. So we have our bunk up here on the top and then our bunk here on the bottom, which like we saw outside, we can move this up, giving us access all the way to that last door. Now on both bunks, we're going to have two USB ports as well as two three prong outlets as well. So no matter how many people you've got with you, no matter how many devices that you need to charge, we're gonna make sure that none of those are gonna be dead. All kinds of storage space throughout this thing, guys. And then once we go to the restroom, we're gonna have this awesome shower. Awesome shower head, nice skylight right up above. And then with our curtain here, this does lock and then we can just move this guy to put it back into its place. Our foot flush commode here, nice window for the bathroom. We do have a fan, that way we can get any of those stinky bathroom odors out of here. Hey guys, good to see you again. And then right behind this mirror, we're gonna have our medicine cabinet and then our small sink with two GFCI plugs and more storage underneath. But guys, I really love these little passport trailers. They're very high quality and they give you a great price point. The other part about this that I would love to talk to you guys about is the awesome warranty that comes with this guys so three year limited structural warranty one year base limited warranty every new keystone rv comes with the industry's best three year limited structural and one year limited base warranty so guys this is a really high quality trailer that's at an awesome price point here's going to be our control center where we can uh, retract our awning we can turn our water pump on and either do gas or electric water heat. And then with our IRV technologies, we can hook up to Bluetooth to be able to play our music outside as well as inside the coach. We can also take the uh, sound from the TV and project it through our speakers, which are right up here on the top. And whenever we are uh, sleeping with other people inside of the RV, we can take this curtain and pull it all the way around. And guys, this does have the blade system, which is super cool. The What Keystone did with their air conditioning system is so neat. So the blade system is gonna give you 20% more airflow on a racetrack system, and we can adjust how fast or how slow we want that to be just by twisting this fixture right here, which is such a neat feature that Keystone had decided to give to their customers. But guys, I can't get enough of these little passports. I think they're so cool. If you do too, and you could see yourself camping in one of these bad boys, let me know. Give me a comment down there. 
uh, I'm gonna have links in the description for ways to get a hold of me, ways to look at my inventory, and if you just wanna talk a little bit more about it, just let me know. Send me a message on Facebook, give me a call, and I will do everything I can to get you guys into the camper of your dreams at an affordable price. But guys, Hayes Carlson signing off over here at Floyd's RVs in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. I'm gonna catch you on the next one. See you later.